us on the broadcast is our panel of guests. We have Saurav Sikdar, who is the spokesperson of the West Bengal BJP, Manujit Mandal, the spokesperson of the TMC, is also with us on the show. We also have Loknath Chatterjee, uh, who is the lawyer at the High Court. He'll be joining us in a few moments from now. We also have Mr. Pratim Ranjan Bose, who's a political analyst. Manujit, first to you. Um, one after the other, the Netas of the TMC, ministers, these are sitting ministers who are under the radar of the CBI and the Enforcement Directorate. Look at the case like a Partho Chatterjee. Simply the party can't say that this is political witch hunt and vendetta because the party itself has distance from some tainted Netas. Will that be the case with your law minister as well? So I think, I think absolutely. I think this is our, you know, uh, key point that BJP and, of course, uh, their biggest, one of the biggest political leaders, I think we call him the biggest papu of Indian politics at this point in time. For him, he has got two playthings, CBI and ED, has no power to fight TMC on the streets, on the grounds, in people's court. Is only fighting us in the CBI's court and ED court. I'm talking about, of course, the Home Minister of this country. Come and fight us with people's mandate, with people's blessing. You can't. Abhi baad do so par, sab the par hoge. Manoji ji, Manoji ji, Manoji ji. Manoji ji. Yes, yes. You won the elections. Yes. You're absolutely right there. They couldn't defeat you yes. electorally. You're absolutely right there. Yes. But if you're yes. saying this is simply about political vendetta or they're trying to re yes. take revenge I'll or blackmail you. the TMC, please let me finish my you. point. Uh, what would you say about a case of Partho Chatterjee? And, and another point to which you can respond, there's something called a collective responsibility. If your law minister, education minister, MLAs of the party are being raided by the CBI and Enforcement Directorate, there are recoveries which are being being made, then there's something hmm. gone terribly wrong with the government. I'll tell you. Yes. There are three chief ministers, one hope ministers of BJP, who, has, who have got allegations of corruption against them, were raided by CBI at one point of time, were questioned by CBI at one point of time. I'm naming them. Himan Bishra Sarma is one of them. Hmm. There is an opposition leader in Bengal by the name of Suvend Odhikari, whom I call the smaller Papu of Bengal can't fight election on his own. I mean, his party strength is diminishing day by day. You, if you, if you are fair enough, neutral, for argument's sake, I'm saying that there are evidences against some of some of these leaders. Hmm. Argument's sake, not accepting, not acknowledging. Okay. But the same kind of evidences exist against Subhendi Odhikari, Hemant Bishra Sharma and Sibla Singh Tuan. What are you doing okay. with them? Manuji, the, is the, question Manuji, of the fallacy of your argument is, the fallacy of your argument is that somewhere there is an acknowledgement of a certain degree of guilt. I'll tell you how. By simply pointing I did not, out, I did not say. sir, your, sir, let me finish. You can you can refute me if you disagree. Uh, by simply mm -hmm. saying that there is similarly things wrong with the BJP, and because they are in power, they are not doing anything about it. Are you trying to say that because you know you don't have the control of the central agencies, that is why you're being prosecuted? Uh, you're not claiming your innocence. You're simply using what about tree here, Manojit? If I if I if I talk about facts, madam, yes, sir. If they sound whatever tree for you. That's your problem. I'm giving you the hard data facts. No. Subindu Dikari was, was shown to be taking money. No. This is a fact. I am Subindu going to take that question to the BJP. By, That's a pertinent question by, you've raised. By, yes. I will take that Subindu question to the BJP. Named, I, again, I repeat, Home Minister's deputy, Nitish Pramanik, he was charged of all kinds of corruption cases. I will take murder, that question to the murder, BJP. But, but Manoji, you have to answer me on merits. You have Partho Chatterjee. You have the I'm law answering. minister who's being raided. There are fair, questions. I, the, no, I, I will answer the way I understand it, madam, not the way you want me to answer. No, I am answering but your But sir, questions. my I'm only humble request is that you have yes. to speak on the merits of the case, won't you? What, yeah, do you think this, this, these cases are uh, all false? Then CBI must be held accountable. The Supreme Court of India must be held accountable okay. because Shubhendadekari's case was filed under the direction of the Supreme Court. So if Partho Chatterjee, if Partho Chatterjee was clean, Partho then why Chatterjee, did your why did your party pa distance uh, itself I, I repeat, from Partho Chatterjee? Yes, not just distance. We have sacked him because we gave people the benefit of doubt because the mountain of cases were found in one of his closet's house, not in Partho Chatterjee's house. We have given the people 
when if it is down to listen to the people's voice what are bjp doing with okay. these criminals okay let I'm me naming them let as me criminals. let me bring in saurav sigdar the spokesperson of the west bengal bjp also into the discussion saurav well it's an oft repeated argument we have spoken about it many times but i don't think it loses its sheen or relevance that there are many leaders from the tmc who have gone to the bjp and now are celebrated as bjp leaders but they had very serious charges against them good that you're going after tmc leaders good that you're prosecuting them if there is evidence against them but what about your own house well i just want to answer what manojit dada just uh, uh, alleged hmm. that hemant biswa sharma ji is got a clean sheet from supreme court i hope manojit dada will not say that supreme court is also a wing of bjp hmm. and uh, uh, shivraj singh chauhan he was a uh, he was after his tenure he was there as a leader of opposition so does congress or any other government who are in the power can frame in even in a in a single corruption charge and you know i can understand manojit das problem about subendu adhikari because he defeated mamta banerji mamta no, banerji but saraji saraji subendu adhikari did have serious charges against him before he jumped ship to the to the bjp you can't deny that no no well so if if he is guilty court is there why don't they approach no, the court no but the tmc is saying no, that why? you have the cbi and enforcement directorate in your hands no. and you're going easy on these people CBI, that's what they're saying CBI, cbi and ed is a central agency uh, central agency of india government it's not a wing of bjp i am hmm. not a spokesperson for cbi or ed hmm. but yes if a, if any agency is not doing their job if if anybody thinks so why don't they approach the court high court is there supreme court is there why, why don't they uh, uh, go to uh, the court and approach them that hmm. uh, they are they are they are impartial they are doing for a political party hmm. when ever they approach the court they got a slap you hmm. know what in today also malai ghatak's house and other uh, so many places cbi hmm. is conducting a raid hmm. and you know what is the people of west bengal saying chor dhoro jele bharo matlab people are saying catch the thief and throw them into the jail so let the agency do their work if they are they are clean they are not guilty why why they are afraid but sorry ji you have not responded to my question a lot of tmc leaders including subendu adhikari when they jumped ship they had heinous charges against them why why doesn't the agency and you're saying that the yeah, agencies I, are doing a fair job manoj ji i'll come to you why aren't the agencies showing the same level of enthusiasm and energy when it comes to the bjp leaders i think that's a fair question to ask no no definitely agency should be uh, should be fair and impartial but if anybody is thinking again i am repeating hmm. if anybody is thinking that agency is not doing their job hmm. they are wrong why okay. don't they go to the appellate authority okay Did okay any... manoj uh, a quick response from you and then i'll bring in mr pratim ranjan bose also into the discussion if there no, is no, so no. much wrong with cbi and ed go to a court and tell the court they'll take care of it the, the, these investigations were you know happening under the direction of the court and the court doesn't investigate only cbi investigative agency has to do it right hmm. and give getting clenchy doesn't mean that the charges are not there and then you know, i can say that these people are not even guilty you are only you know after them neither of these people including partha chatterjee do you don't depend partha chatterjee none of them are guilty so you are not so you are not going to accept the verdict of supreme Please. court even hmm. we supreme court has supreme court has said that partha chatterjee anuprat mandal are the guilty hmm. Hmm. and the fact is yeah. that you are trying to yeah, your yeah, system trial not even okay one at a time please one at a time please, at a time, please. You are, you are, sorry the let him finish let manojit finish yeah okay okay anusha the bigger point is very simple hmm. the maximum challenge has been given to modi and mr shah is by tmc and mamta banerjee mamta banerjee under the leadership of abhishek banerjee and herself this is the biggest challenge okay. for bjp in 2024 mr pratim so ranjan bose